Hi, my name is Abun. Uh, Abun don't know much about science, but uh, Abun only eat protein and then go to the gym. So after this, later I go into the gym. But uh, now I just going to relax for a while. Uh, over here. Hey, my hey, bottle. who threw this? Is it you? Is it you? No. I, 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 I'm pretty sure I saw the one drinking Abun, girl. Abun, right is it now. you? Is what it him? Drink? Yes. Abun, you cannot do this. Miss Anna, what are you doing here? This is littering. Uh, you know, if you keep doing this, our earth will be destroyed. You will ah, like, come like that. My one litter can destroy the earth? Yes, Okay, now no need to go Amiri. We got a new super weapon. Abun's trash. Look. Look what's happening to the turtle. It's oh no! Eating all the trash that you throw. Turtle bro, don't go for it, turtle bro. This is this is a big problem. But then like you gotta pick you it see, up. We have so much, so much trash. What am I gonna pick do? Pick it this? up. It's no, oh, no more now the universe hey, is gonna be hey. destroyed. What's going on here? Break it up. What are you doing, Arbun? Wait, 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 what's wait, all wait, this? wait, wait, wait. Who, who are you? Don't you know who I am? Uh, Einstein. Well, good guess. Mad scientist, mad scientist. <laughs> oh yes, Miss Anna, I was thinking the same. Yeah, it's not too far off. I'm Professor Green, and I focus on the sustainability of planet Earth. We only have one planet, and we have to look after it. Look what you've done. Oh no. He's been throwing these things on the floor, and he's trying to make the Earth look like that. Yes, and if it doesn't end up there, it could end up in the sea. Oh no, but if it ends up in the sea, and then the fish eat the plastic, and then I eat the fish, then I won't become plastic! Yes! That's so? right. Okay, okay, uh, how about um, since it's like that, I will throw it into the trash. Right. Well, that's a start, Abun. You should always throw your rubbish in the in the rubbish bin, but it doesn't just disappear when it goes down the rubbish chute. Uh, of course, Abun knows it doesn't disappear, but just to test whether you know or not, what, what happens to it? Uh? What happens to the trash? What does Singapore do with all of its rubbish when we throw it down the rubbish chute? Any, any ideas? We have one vote for burning. It gets dumped into some island. Incineration. Incineration. That's right. Actually, most of Singapore's rubbish, because we don't have a lot of place to put it, we actually burn it. Ah, uh, so, uh, Miss Anna, why don't we just uh, burn the rubbish? No, 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 no. It's very dangerous. No, we cannot burn the rubbish. Well, actually, I have an experiment to show burning, uh, incineration, but it's a bit dangerous, isn't it, Miss Anna? So, yes, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, maybe no, we no. shouldn't do that. But burning is good, right? It's, it deals with the problem. Do you all want to see some burning? We have some yes and some no's. Who's a yes? Yes, uh, yes. Ah, boon. All right, then. Seeing as you all want to see some burning, I think we should do a few experiments to show burning and incineration today. So the first one, is using some rocket fuel, but I need some help from Miss Anna and Arboon to do my experiments today. Uh, is, what do you need is, us to do, Prof? Is it going to be scary? It's not going to be too scary. It's going to be very exciting. So what I would like you to do, Arboon, is to bring the container of liquid to this white table at the front so everyone can see it. Now, do you know what's in there, Arboon? Uh, stuff that's going to burn. Actually, in there is some soapy water, so very oh, safe, okay. yeah. That's, that's not what I was expecting, But what bro. I'd like you to do this is... This is not what I signed up for when I said burning. <laughs> yeah, you can. You can hold it, Miss Anna. So, Abun, can you... You see you're holding a balloon, it's got rocket fuel inside. Which is a mixture of oxygen and hydrogen. And what I'd like you to do is bubble it into the soap solution so we can make some rocket fuel bubbles. How's that going? And then what we're going to do is going to light the rocket fuel and see what happens. Oh, that was interesting. That looks more explosive than burning, Professor. I told you that's dangerous. Well, you know what? If you thought that was impressive, I have another experiment for you. What is this experiment, Professor? It's called whoosh bottle. Does it involve a bigger fire? It involves a big sound if it works well. Okay. So we have a whoosh bottle. Do I have to burn it again? Yes. Oh, I'm I need to ask you to burn it. Miss Anna, can you bring it to the table? Give it a good shake, yeah. And then what I need you to do is take the cap off. And as soon as you've taken the cap off, I'd like you to light the Okay, top. I'm ready. Wow. Ooh. Okay, I could see that fire. That's, you that's what I'm talking about. You could see a flame. Yeah, you could see a flame. Sometimes it goes whoosh. So that's another example of burning. 
But burning is no good, right? It produces a lot of what? Carbon, carbon dioxide. dioxide. But what's wrong with carbon dioxide, Miss Anna? Of course, of course it's Abu, a problem. Abu I makes carbon dioxide. Week. Abu makes carbon dioxide all the time. <gasps> carbon dioxide. But that's well, that's very cause, good. Because global warming, you know, that's a greenhouse gas. I know. What if we use a more powerful fire and burn the carbon dioxide? Can you burn carbon dioxide? Because burning is the answer to everything. Well, you know, actually, there's a big effort across Singapore and the world, and it's called carbon capture. And that's about collecting the carbon dioxide that we produce and making it into something useful. Like rocket fuel. There's many different uses for it, but it's very unreactive molecule, so it requires a lot of energy to get it to react. But today we have an experiment where we'd like to show you how we can react carbon dioxide. But it's, again, I need your help, Miss Anna. Is it going to be loud again? This one is going to be a little bit bright. So don't worry, Miss Anna. I'll take this one for the team. So don't look too directly into the bright light if you're sensitive to bright lights. So don't, what we don't have, look into the lights, okay? Yeah, we have solid carbon dioxide. So it's frozen on, on the stage behind the screen. And inside is some magnesium. And Arbun, what I would like you to do is... Burn it. Right, burn That's the what magnesium. Arbun is best at. Be careful. And then I want you to put the second block of dry ice on top. And we should see, even though it's covered in carbon dioxide, it should still continue to burn. So first of all, he's going to try to light the magnesium. Sometimes it takes a little while to get going. But give him a little bit of time. She's got a little torch. All right. We're going to use a bigger torch. Sometimes you need a bigger torch in life. Okay. Wow, Abun. <laughs> Don't play with fire. Technique. That's it. I think it needs a little bit of adjustment. Okay. Try again. All right. That's about right. Okay. Wow. So you can see inside the dry ice, the carbon dioxide is burning and it's actually very hot inside there. It's 2,000 degrees. So That's almost as hot as Abun. <laughs> right, Abun. It's very, very hot indeed. And uh, you... Oh. I realized that everything also can burn. You see, Miss Anna, I told you from... dioxide can burn. I told you from the start, burn is the answer to everything. But I'm sure there are things you cannot burn, right? Well, How about the pot, the pot that we're using when we're cooking? The me metal cannot be burned, right? Well, actually, given the right conditions, even metal can burn. Did oh, you know you that? Miss Anna, is it a bigger fire? So let's yeah. do an experiment to see if we can get some metal to burn. And I'm going to ask Miss Anna to help me. Miss Anna is going to hold the metal to the end of the battery and we're going to see some whether it catches fire. Look at that. Isn't that Whoa. pretty? That's beautiful, isn't it? Well done. Wow, wow, even metal can burn. Even metal can burn. I told you, Miss Anna, burning is the answer. No, 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 no. We cannot keep burning things, you know. But what's the problem? Is there a problem, Professor? Well, burning doesn't solve all our problems, unfortunately, because even after we burn our rubbish, there's still quite a lot left behind. Ash. Can we burn that? No, we can't. So what we're going to do is we're going to show a little bit of an experiment to show all the residue that's left behind out, out of after burning and it's also because I like to do some fireworks so we're gonna have a few fireworks today if everyone's interested but would you like to see some fireworks Miss Anna? She's afraid of burning professor. We would like to see fireworks though wouldn't we? Yeah so I need our Boone and Miss Anna to help me again. Again? Okay professor. So inside the metal tray on the stage is two fireworks and what I'd like you to do is show the audience inside is the firework ingredients, the mixture of chemicals. It's a white powder, it's got some oxidizing agent, some fuel, and then something to give it the color. So this is a firework recipe, secret recipe. Don't try this at home. So inside the tin they go, because you need to keep it safe behind the screen. And now what I want you to do is, I want you to light them when I count you in. So can you all help me count Miss Anna and Arbun? Are you ready? Let's go. 
three, two, one. Let's see. Happy birthday. Wow, well done, Miss Anna. Wow, that's pretty impressive. It's kind of red and a little bit green. I like that one. So well, what's, what's all this black stuff, Professor? Well, the black stuff left behind is the ash that I was talking about. Then what should we do with all our waste if we can't burn it? What do you think, Miss Anna? I think we should recycle. Wow. Yes, the children yes. know better than you, Abun. Well, recycling is breaking something down that we use and then building it up again and into something useful. So we have two experiments to show that. Wow, can you show me what it is? Okay, so the first one, we're gonna use this uh, solution here. And Miss Anna, I'm gonna need your help as well. So here is my water bottle, which I have earlier. It's a, it's a pretend water bottle, but it's made of polymer, which is the same kind of material that we make our water bottles out of. And we're gonna break it down in a minute. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna dip it into the solution. And let's see what happens. What, what's happening? Is it looks it, like it's disappearing, Professor. It is. What's happening to the water bottle? Let's lift oh, it up. God. Stop, stop, stop. Help me lift it up a My little bit, show. Bottle. Whoa, it's disappearing. Yeah, no. let's go all the way. It's going, yeah. Wow, he once really doesn't like that water bottle. Does so he? this is what we're doing. We're breaking it down. Ah, I see, Professor, this is the first half of recycling where you break something down. That's right, you're a good learner, Arbun. I'm very impressed. So it, goes, it can go all the way. Let's just let it down. That's perfect. All right, so the second experiment is, is how we build things up again. So Mr. I don't know helped us break things down, but now I need Miss Anna to show us how to build things up again. Because of the three of us, Miss Anna has the best chopstick skills. She does, because this experiment requires chopsticks. So what, what's going to happen is we're going to layer two liquids together and these are two reactants. And when they react to the interface, they're going to form a new material. And Wait, this, this, this liquid is going to become something solid? That's right. We're going to make a polymer out of it. Wow. So Miss Anna, can you help us? She's, she's just putting on her gloves and her glasses like a good student. Okay, so you're going to pick up the chopsticks and what I need you to do is pull out the plastic from the solution. Look at that chopstick action. So we're making a new material. It's like by mag as if by magic from the solution. Wow, where's all this white stuff coming from, Professor? It's like solid from nothing. Yeah, that's actually nylon. So we're making something useful again. What is nylon used for, Professor? Nylon has many uses, actually, in, in our clothes and in our materials. It's very versatile material. Wow, that's really cool. This, this seems so futuristic, Prof. Is this like, what's going to happen in the future? Well, you know, in the future, we need better ways to sort out our waste. And at ASTAR, there's a whole research program looking at new ways of recycling, new ways of bi making biodegradable plastics so that they don't stay in the ocean for as long as they do. Wow, what, so what kind of things do you do at this A-star? We do a lot of research and development. We have many scientists working on these problems uh, to help Singapore and to help society. So, what's, what's, you know, there's a lot of re, um, biodegradable stuff out there. Is it, is it too slow or do we have to make it fast? Well, there's a lot of complicated issues around biodegradable material, but sometimes what we could do is we could use a catalyst to make things go faster. Wait, what's a catalyst, Professor? You mean you don't know? I, I just taught you last week. Are you sure it was last week, Miss Anna? So, Abun, what do you think a catalyst is? Give it, uh, give it a guess. Cat, catalyst, uh, li, uh, list of cats. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, Abun. Oh. Yes. So a catalyst is something that speeds up a reaction. And to show you what that is, visually, we're going to do one final experiment today. So again, I need some help from Abun. Yes. Can you help me? Yes, Professor. Abun, you need to learn now. Uh, what is a catalyst supposed to do? So inside this the conical Mr. flask Mr. Biggles, well, meow, is some meow. hydrogen peroxide. And hydrogen peroxide decomposes to form water and oxygen. Can you see it reacting, Abun? 
Uh, it just looks very green, like there's algae growing in there, Professor. Are you sure you kept it right? Well, actually, this reaction takes about 100 years, so uh, if you've all got time, we can just wait here. Is that okay? <laughs> no, it's I'm not. To go to the gym later. That's why we're going to add a catalyst and we're going to make it react in a few seconds. So Abun has some liquid catalyst and we're going to count him in and then he's going to pour the catalyst inside and we're going to see what happens. So everybody, can you help me count Abun in? Are you ready? Ready? Let's go. Three, Three two, two one. one, and off you go. Wow, that was impressive. So, Arbun, I hope you've learned a lot today about why we shouldn't throw our waste on the floor. Wow, thanks, Professor. I really learned a lot how to deal with our waste and all the different ways that we can recycle and reuse things. So, everybody remember... Behave, behave with, with your, your waste. waste. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, that's the end of the show. Please don't touch the phone. Please, Please don't, don't touch, touch the, phone, the phone, but feel free to look at it, but don't touch it, okay? Please don't touch the phone.